constituents overwhelmingly oppose moving this prison. Despite strong opposition, the Utah legislature votes to move the state prison from Draper to Salt Lake City. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Kim Fisher. And I'm Don Hudson. Good to be with you. Now, for years, it's been debated and discussed, but tonight, the relocation of the Utah State Prison is on the verge of actually happening. A resolution to move it from its current site in Draper to a new site just off of I 80 near 7200 West was put to a vote at the state capitol. And after passing both the House and the Senate, the resolution now heads to Governor Herbert. Good for Utah's Rick Aaron was at the special session of the legislature today and joins us now live tonight with more. Rick? Don, legislators call it a once in a century decision, a historic vote where to build the $550 million facility that will be the largest and most expensive construction project ever in the state of Utah. House Concurrent Resolution 101 was passionately debated for an hour and a half on the House floor. Salt Lake City West Side community once again is being told it is your responsibility to rehabilitate our citizens while other communities in our state get to use NIMBY as their shield. My community is not a NIMBY community. But we are a not only in my backyard community. Ultimately, the resolution passed by a 62 to 12 vote, sending it to the Senate for more discussion. And this prison site has the potential not to be a 50 year site as Draper turned out to be. This has the potential to be a 100 years or more site. And I think it gives a completely incorrect projection of the money that is supposedly going to be saved by having it in Salt Lake. And if you take that out, you're, you're much more likely to find the other locations will meet the services of the community and they will also save the taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars. The vote in the Senate was 21 for and 7 against. Now the resolution goes to Governor Gary Herbert's desk for his signature. Yes, I guess it's historical, but to that it was our job. This was the best place at the best time. We need to do this. We need to move our state as we do with every piece of legislation forward for the betterment of all of us. Now there are still some hurdles left to clear, namely environmental concerns about the soil, some wetlands and an old landfill out at that site. There's also the threat of a lawsuit from Salt Lake City, but today Senator Jerry Stevenson suggested that if Salt Lake City files a suit, they could just redraw the city boundaries to put that site in Magna. Reporting live at the state capitol, Rick Aaron, good for Utah. All right, Rick, thank you. Now, Salt Lake City's mayor and city council aren't happy with the votes by the legislature today. In a statement, they vowed to, and I'm quoting, continue to explore all of the options available to oppose the decision, including the consideration of any available political and legal remedies.